Hello and welcome to another Cactus Hill Adventure. Today we're um, in southeastern Utah. I'm going to be traveling down the Montezuma Canyon Road, which is south of Monticello uh, and near Blanding, uh, Utah. And I will include uh, directions in the write-up with this video. So uh, you can take a look there and find out how to get there. Basically, right now we're looking at a Google shot of Montezuma Canyon Road. It started farther north, and uh, we're traveling south down the road as it follows the Montezuma Creek Road. Right now we're zooming in on uh, the Bradford Canyon ruins, and you can make out probably the little fence that's about center of the frame right now that uh, kind of protects the ruins. That's a very unique and interesting site. Uh, it's well worth a stop along the way. and. Uh, I think we're going to zoom out here and go down to the uh, Three Kivo Pueblo here in a second. That is the most prominent ruin on the uh, on this road, and it's uh, farther south. It's uh, probably 40 miles or so from where you start. I'm just guessing, somewhere around there. But here, as we zoom out and travel, uh, continuing south, it's a very good road all the way. It's uh, uh, hard packed gravel road uh, sees a lot of traffic the first 15 miles or so after you descend in the canyon uh, is actually a recreational area uh, excuse me a, a <laughs> modern people's uh, area there are ranches and there's even a vineyard down at the bottom of the canyon here but here we're going 20 times speed down the canyon just to show you the road is good and wide no issues uh, any car could probably travel down it uh, so just be careful there's kind of a, a ledge there you know kind of a drop off on the side and here we're stopping there's open range cattle up and down this road for the first 15 miles or so so be careful go slow and just take it easy and uh, keep an eye out for uh, any of the ruins along the way we saw several probably missed several but uh, we're going to stop along at each one and take some pictures and uh, and we hiked and, and enjoyed the area like I said, the first uh, part of this we're coming up on is a private property on both sides of the road. So you want to be careful where you stop and where you get out and look around. Uh, it could be on somebody's ranch or a homestead or, or whatever. So anyway, uh, here you see some of the actual uh, property, private property that I mentioned before. And uh, again, we're just uh, kind of keeping an eye on both sides of the road to see if we can see anything that uh, looks interesting to explore. There's the vineyard. I see there's commercial <laughs> activity going on in this road so yeah just uh, take it easy enjoy the route it's a pretty area and uh, we're going to be stopping here in a few minutes and uh, showing you some of the uh, the ruins I don't know what the official name of these ruins are but uh, they were pretty interesting we did climb up and look around and uh, uh, took our time actually along the whole route to take a full day to do this uh, and then as you get south down to the free Kibo Pueblo it's even more interesting to take a look around and and enjoy that those sites as well here we are pulling up to the first uh, first site. So, um, again, this one was was very interesting. We enjoyed it. Took a lot of pictures, and uh, as you can see it in the background there, there's uh, some natural caves made in the side of the wall, and uh, there's some steps that go up to uh, there. And I'll go ahead and let myself na narrate this now. Left, so I'm going to record this area here. This is at about mile 15 coming from the northern uh, end of uh, Montezuma's Road here. Uh, there's some, looks like some cliffs. Might have been uh, some used for some dwellings at once upon a time. There's some, uh, it's hard to see from this view, but there's some uh, stepping paths, I guess, or some uh, path worn into the stone going up the side of the hill there, the rock, to get to those areas, uh, the caves that we see here, and they're all along here, uh, there's several of them, and uh, 
so that's basically looks like it's definitely some people who lived there once upon a time So here's some uh, pictures as we go through and show you the close-ups of some of the caves up on the rock side there, the side of the hill. And look, uh, you can see some cairns in there and some rock stack. I'm sure that's probably recent, but uh, yeah, it was pretty neat to walk around here and kind of look at the, the ancient peoples and imagine what they did there and it, uh, what they used them for. For you know, if they were traveling through the area or they were semi-permanent structures for the season or, or whatever. So anyway, here we're moving back on and we're on back on the road and uh, we're going to go on next to the Bradford ruins. So we'll keep you apprised of anything along the way, but uh, that's our next destination is the Bradford ruins. Actually, Bradford Canyon ruins. So that's where we're headed now. And again, did 20 times speed, so you can see the road. It's a good road, like I said before. Pretty much anybody can traverse it. There's some cattle. And you had to slow down and let it get by and kind of cut that part out. But anyway. So it's 20 times speed, so hang on. see his cattle along the way all the way along this route so again be careful and, and keep an eye out for west fillings and petroglyphs and cattle so here's where we stopped and uh, took a look and uh, this area right here you're looking at, I believe it's called Honeycomb Ruins. Uh, it's a small area alongside the road. You could drive by and miss it if you're not careful. But uh, uh, we took extensive pictures, and here are a few that we we took. I you know, hope you enjoy them. And like I said, it's a, worth a stop and just to kind of hang out and enjoy the area. Kind of center frame to the right a little bit is an arch there. Uh, it's a natural. According to uh, a website called AmericanSouthwest.net, uh, it has a picture of this rock and it's called a balanced rock. So it makes, it makes sense. It looks like it's balanced there kind of precariously. And anyway, it's kind of cool. So anyway, we're going to move on and head towards uh, Bradford Canyon Ruins here. We're going to go to uh, a loop here pretty soon. It's called uh, Horse Canyon at the top of it. Uh, and we'll see that as we go by here. I assume probably at one point they uh, this canyon was kind of a a dead end canyon, and uh, they uh, put a, some kind of fencing up on it and put some horses out there, uh, calling it Horse Canyon. That's only a supposition on my part. That's nothing uh, factual that I found, but it kind of makes sense with the name of the canyon being Horse Canyon. Basically, here's a shot of us coming through where we just left off on the video. Uh, when you make the U-turn, U-turn, excuse me, uh, here, that's uh, the top of that is Horse Canyon. And then we should be coming up on Bradford Canyon ruins here within the next few minutes or so.
and you can see the road's pretty it's a very good road again I hate to keep hitting that point but it's a really really good road it looks like even if it got wet uh, it's pretty hard packed so even if it got wet I think it'd still be a pretty good road so here we are at uh, Radford Canyon Ruins this is a really really neat spot uh, you start looking to the rock face there and you start seeing some dwellings built into the side of the rock and just continue to look you'll we we were there for probably a good half hour or 40 minutes and kept finding little nooks and crannies of uh, where they've obviously built in uh, added rocks and made doors and openings to get in uh, for shelter Okay, here's Cactus Hill at the Bradford Ruins, the Montezuma Creek Road, down near Blanding in southeast Utah. There's dwellings all through this rock face. Definitely, it's a place where people lived, and at least maybe during a transition or a moving from place to place, traveling, this was a place, but it looks like it was more a home because it, these are pretty permanent. I mean, there's rock. Should be center camera right now. More along the edge there. There's a little turnout here off Montezuma Creek Road that we're at. You probably see the the fencing. a little more. Okay, it's enough video for now. Okay, so we're gonna go through some photos here. Uh, this is at Bradford Canyon Ruins and then uh, unfortunately or fortunately depending on how you look at it, uh, the video that I took with my GoPro mounted on the front of the Jeep, somehow, operator error, I got it in time lapse, and it's basically was unusable all the way to the three Kiva Pueblo. So we're including uh, photographs along the way. All these photographs are in order of how we saw them along the road. And uh, so keep an eye out for those. And uh, some petroglyphs, as you see here in the frame, uh, just keep your eyes open as you go through this uh, and keep your eyes on the road for cattle and keep your eyes on the road for petroglyphs and other interesting uh, items alongside the road, dwellings, uh, just different uh, items of, of interest. It was a great drive. We took most of the day to do this. Uh, we stopped here at this location. It was like a wash that uh, went across the road that 
at some point it's seen a lot of water come through there so you can see how this is worn but it was a great place to take a break in the shade and get some lunch and just relax and, and walk around and we saw uh, one of the few forms of wildlife uh, during this little adventure he should be coming up here soon and if you look at him closely he's uh, missing the last section of his tail so I think he had an encounter here he is so uh, Got away from that encounter, okay. So anyway, here we are at uh, Three Kiva Pueblo. And I'll go ahead and let the narration take hold. This is part of another video that I'll post a link to. So enjoy. Yeah, here you're seeing just some uh, random photographs we took while we were at Three Kiva Pueblo. And then we're going to move on down south uh, of here and we'll run into some more uh, ruins uh, alongside the road. So again, uh, keep an eye out as you drive through the canyon here and you'll see uh, items like this along the road. And uh, we went up and actually explored through these and took some more close-ups of these. And, Probably may have missed a few, didn't see them all probably, but uh, that's what the fascination of this canyon road is about. It's uh, pretty neat and enjoyable and we're gonna, we're gonna be back in the area in May of this year and we're gonna go back along this road and, and uh, fly my drone a little more in a couple spots and, and go from there and we'll bring you that video probably this summer sometime. So anyway, enjoy it. Thanks for watching, I surely appreciate you looking at my videos and uh, if you like it, like button and if you like it enough to subscribe that would be great and here's a final segment of the entire road from 191 south of Monticello all the way down to road 262 and 5099 by the way the uh, road 5099 coming out of the hatch trading post and on to 262 is a very bad stretch of road pothole filled and heaved and the very bad paved road, so be careful. All right, have a good one. Take care. And remember, you won't know if you don't go.